You must have heard of Kung Fu and bullfighting. Well, both are famous sports in the world, but have you ever heard of Kung Fu bullfighting? Yes, that is correct. A region in China has mixed its traditional sport with martial arts and the result is grabbing eyeballs all over the world. Several times a week, Chinese bullfighter Ren Rushi puts himself in a ring to spar. But his opponent is not ordinary. He faces off with a bull, five times his weight and completely capable of killing him. Many would say that this 24-year-old's choice of career as a kung fu bullfighter is rather unconventional. But Ren says he's not been seriously injured and more importantly, he's addicted to the excitement. Inside the ring, I see the bull as my adversary. But outside the ring, I treat him like a friend or fellow warrior. Why do I say this? Because we are often together, performing together on the same stage. Ren's coach is credited with turning the centuries-old tradition into a sport by combining it with Kung Fu and bringing it to the mass audience. Grab both the horns, this is vital. There are several ways of holding on to them, like this, like that. Either way, it's fine. The physical demands of Kung Fu bullfighting are such that only the toughest can survive. The fighters only last a few years in the ring before retiring from the sport. To questions over animal cruelty, Kung Fu bullfighters say that the bulls are well treated and never killed unlike the sport's more famous cousin, Spanish bullfighting. But animal welfare groups are not convinced. Yes, it's true that there is blood and gore in Spanish bullfighting and it's certainly very violent. But in Chinese bullfighting, we cannot deny that during this process, the bulls experience pain. There are certainly physical and psychological effects on them. Ren has heard the concerns about cruelty too, but he's convinced that his bulls are well looked after and he hopes to continue to improve his fighting skills and pass the tradition to the next generation. Bureau report, Beyond World is One.